Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 11 of our TypeScript Fundamentals video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about TypeScript modules once again. And this is like a continuation of our previous part, which is part 10, because we missed one of the most important concept on TypeScript modules. So we are going to discuss more on TypeScript modules in this video. All right, so let's get started. Default exports. This is one of the feature which I was about to tell in our previous video, which I missed because of the length of our previous video. So we have just cut short that particular video. And in this video, we are going to discuss even more better. So each modules can optionally export a default exports. So the default exports are marked with the keyword default, and there can only be one default export per module. And the default exports are imported using a default import forms. And now you can have some questions like, what is this default export and default import form? So is there something different keywords altogether? Because in our previous module, we used something called export of braces and the class name or the interface name. And similarly, we imported them using the same way. So is there some different forms available in this particular feature? Of course, yes. There is a small change in our exporting and importing this time. So I will quickly show you how it looks like. So let's quickly see a demo and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. All right, so this is the same project which we have been working from our previous video. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to perform a default export. And as you can see, we are importing everything using this particular import keyword or the import statement to perform an import of the students class and the iStudents info interface for our app.cs file or app.ts file, I'm sorry. So for the default export, what we can actually do is we can go to the student.ts file and instead of exporting something like this, as you can see here, I am going to do a what is called as a something like this export default and then I'm going to export this particular class students here in a default way and you don't necessarily have to pass the export students in this and now if you come to the app.ts file you can see that we have a red screwy line this time and it says that the modules c colon slash typescript basic slash student has no export member of students. So what does this mean basically is we have not exported anything from the student.ts file. We have just commented this particular code out, but we are doing export default of the class students. So how do we import this time? So because we have already commented our previous code and how is it going to look like for this particular piece of code? Well, to import this, all we have to do is we can just remove this completely and we can just name something like students. That's it. You can see that the syntax is pretty much similar. Other than that, we have just removed this particular braces from here. And you can see that the code is still legal. You don't really have any errors here. And let's say if you want to change the students to whatever alias you want. Let's say you want to call this as stud for the students, very, very miniature way of telling it. You can see that the students is throwing us an error here while we call it. So you can maybe call this as stud as well. And now we can see that it's still legal. And if I do an F12, we can see that it is taking us to this particular export default class students. So this is another way of exporting a type or a class or an interface in a default manner. Well, using this export default option, you can do the shorthand of importing what you were doing before, something like this, right? And again, the condition here is in one particular module, you can actually have only one export default. Not everything you can just export as default there, right? So this is how you can work with export default. And once again, if you want to run this and see how things work, so if I just run the build task and now if I do F5, you can see that the code will still execute without any problem, right? So this is how you can work with the 
default exports of TypeScript, right? Similarly, you can export default the inner face as well, right? So now you can see that this particular piece of code is not completely required. We can just export this as it is. And similarly, you can also export the functions within a class if you want as a default export or export default. So that's it guys. This is how you can do all these operations in TypeScript. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.